What if you could turn your neck 360 degrees? What would you do with a neck that could rotate 360 degrees? How would you deal with such a strange and wonderful gift? Welcome back to Limitless. We're your gateway to limitless possibilities. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because it's so much fun. I'm sure some of you are saying, well, I don't need to turn my neck 360 degrees. I can turn it 180 degrees. That's great, but what if you could go further than that? What if you could rotate your head so far that the back of your head was touching the front of your chest? What would that be like? Would it hurt? Would it be weird? Well, first of all, holy crap, that would be awesome. But then it would get weird. You'd have to start thinking about how to use your new abilities, like what if you were driving a car and wanted to look at something in the backseat? Would you do it while driving? Probably not. But then again, maybe you should. What if your necks were able to turn 360 degrees? Well, let's take a look at what this would mean for our lives. Would you be the life of the party? Could you make a career out of it? Would it matter that no one else could do it? For example, imagine going out on a date with a guy who has really bad breath. You'd be able to turn your head all the way around so that he couldn't see that you were gagging while he was talking about his favorite superhero movies. Or maybe even better, imagine meeting someone new and having them ask, what do you do? You could turn around and say, I'm a superhero. The possibilities would be endless. Imagine what you could see. You could look behind you while walking down the street and not worry about any collisions with people coming from the opposite direction. You could read a book while lying on your stomach or watch TV from any angle in your room. You could even take selfies from all kinds of positions, which would definitely make them more interesting than usual. Imagine a world in which you no longer have to crane your neck to glance in both directions. No more bending and contorting yourself in uncomfortable positions. You only need to turn your head slightly and you'll be able to see everything that's going on in the surroundings. It is possible that you may use it as a party trick to demonstrate how flexible your neck is, or you may impress your colleagues by turning your head completely around while they watch you perform the feat. After that, they'd be all, oh my god. They could be under the impression that you're some kind of vampire. And after that, once you got enough of it, finally you could want to start utilizing it for something else once you've had enough of it. Possibly you would want to use it as a weapon. You're probably familiar with the ability of cobras to turn their heads and inject venom into their target without moving the rest of their bodies. That is pretty cool if you ask me. If it's too much for one person to handle, then why not collaborate with someone else who possesses the same power as you do? You may go on adventures together or you could even have a race to see who can wiggle their necks the longest. Alternately, you might be interested in putting it to a more useful purpose such as the following. For example, playing the role of a superhero or an undercover operative. You might become the next James Bond or even a greater spy than he was. In addition to this, you would have an unfair advantage in any competition involving staring. As you slowly turned your head around to meet your opponent's case, they would be left in the dust as you dominated the situation. And if they attempted to deceive you by looking away, you would simply follow their eyes with your own until they gave up and admitted defeat. You could also utilize your new skill to massage your entire body, which would be very relaxing. Simply rotate your head from one shoulder to the other in a gradual and controlled manner and you'll be able to access all of those difficult to get areas. The human neck is a complicated structure made up of bones, muscles, tendons, and ligaments that allow for a wide range of motion in the head. The average person's ability to turn their head to the left or right is roughly 90 degrees, and they can tilt their head back about 45 degrees. Additionally, the neck enables us to flex their head forward approximately 45 degrees. Vertebrae are the bones that make up the neck, and they're arranged so that they're stacked one on top of the other. The vertebrae are held together by the intervertebral discs, which also serve as shock absorbers and permit the spine to move in a fluid and uninhibited manner. Tendons serve as attachment points for the muscles that are found in the neck, which allow us to move our heads. The vertebrae are kept in their proper position by the ligaments, which also serve to hold the vertebrae together. There have been a number of occasions in which individuals have been observed turning their heads through 180 degrees. There are situations when it could be because of the vertebral column's very high degree of flexibility. Occasionally, as a result of the lack of a significant number of vertebrae, although it might sound like something out of a horror movie, there are in fact people who are able to achieve this. These people are called contortionists. Contortionists are individuals who have exceptional flexibility and are able to distort their bodies into positions that appear to be physically impossible. 
Meet Yasha, a young contortionist from the area who has amazed many of with his ability to twist his shoulders through the whole 360 degrees and spin his neck around. Because Yasha's physique is so unbelievably flexible, he can even fit between the string holes of a tennis racket. His arms and legs can rotate over a complete 360 degrees, while his head can twist by 180 degrees. The people who have lived in Yasha's town in Surat, which is located in the state of Gujarat in western India, have given him the nickname Rubber Boy. However, it is physically impossible for a typical human being like he or I to rotate their bodies around all 360 degrees. And 180? It's challenging, but not impossible. If someone tried to do this, they would likely break their neck and either become paralyzed or die as a consequence. However, a man named Martin the Owl Lorella was born with a congenital neck malformation and could do it. He reported spent three years stretching to be able to get there and eventually worked as a circus performer for many years. While it might sound like all good at first, there are actually some pretty surprising downsides to having this ability. For one, it would be really easy to get whiplash. And for another, he would be constantly bumping into things. Trust me, it's not as great as it sounds. This could be exhausting and embarrassing for you. You would have to find new jobs because people would get tired of watching your head spin around like an owl when they're trying to concentrate on work. It would also hurt both physically and emotionally to have this power. You would have trouble maintaining relationships with women who are afraid of having their neck snap by you when you both hug goodbye. It'll be even harder to maintain relationships with men as you're likely to have a fear of being strangled. This could cause you to lose your friends and family members over time, which would leave you feeling lonely and isolated. The worst part about this condition is that it's likely to get worse over time. Your head will eventually become so heavy that it can no longer support itself, and you will fail to the floor in a heap of pain and misery. And what if that power came with some serious downsides? What if every time you turned your head, everyone else in the room had to stop and turn theirs as well? What if they had to do it exactly when you did it? so that even though their heads were facing different directions from yours, they still looked in the same direction as yours. And what if it took them a long time to do that? And what if it made them dizzy and nauseous? And what if they couldn't talk while they were doing it because their mouths were facing backwards? What if there was no way for them to tell you this because when they try to talk their words came out backwards too? If something like that occur, it'll be extremely challenging to maintain a life anywhere in the world. Things would get really rough on earth, isn't it? Well, that's it from this video. What do you think about this video? I'm sure we can think of many more interesting scenarios. It's time to let our imaginations run wild and share some of your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also, considering subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.